Hey YouTube, uh, I wanted to do a video to show you how to make a smart doorbell. Um, if you're considering getting the ring, um, maybe you could go down that road, but I've heard uh, different kind of reports about the delay when you're cl clicking the button and the uh, notifications you get after. It's a bit of a delay and by the time you get the, uh, the message, they've already gone. So, and also I think it's about 170 odd pound. So what I decided to do is try and develop my own um, and I've done it relatively cheaply and hopefully um, you'll like it and you can give it a go yourself. So what you'd need to start off with is your normal doorbell and this is just from Amazon. Uh, a flick uh, smart button, the flick app and if this then that which is that icon there. So, you pair your flick button to the flick app, and I've named mine doorbell, and that's your first step. And then your second step is you get your doorbell, and I've taken it off the, the door at the moment. You unscrew this, you take the little uh, like button that's already there away, and then I've used some just some double sided tape and I put like a little washer or a nut on there so when you touch the doorbell it pushes activates the flick button but also presses the doorbell to make this ring and the reason why I did that is because if you're using the flick uh, solely for um, getting known that someone's at the door you may, there's a possibility you may miss the notification, so I just wanted to cover every base. Um, and also there's different recipes you can do uh, to make you more aware of where, um, when someone's at the door. So yeah, so basically that's what I did. And then in the, the doorbell, if you click on that, I've got it so my iPad will play a sound, and my iPad's normally at home all the time. The hue light that's above my porch will automatically turn on when the buttons press and also I've got an if they if this then that trigger which also um, up the stairs I have some LED strips I'm going to show you this anyway but I've got some LED strips which will pulse red just in case like the kids are in bed and you, you don't want the doorbell to wake everyone up you can put the doorbell on silent so these LED lights up the handrail up the stairs will pulse red to notify you that somebody's at the door so yeah so that's what I've done um, when you use the if this then that recipe if I go on to this my recipes I've got this one here if you click a flick you get a notification from the app and this is in the recipe by flick name you obviously link if this then that to your flick account uh, pick the doorbell, uh, click, uh, click um, what type of click, so you've got one click, a double click and a click and hold, so I've just done one click, and then I will get a message on my phone to say someone is at the door, and it will give me the time that the, door was, um, the doorbell was rang. Then I have this one here, so if you Click a flick, then blink handrail. So, same sort of thing. Doorbell, click the flick that you want. A single click. And then my um, handrail light will pulse five times a red colour at 100% brightness. And it, it won't change the status because basically I have the handrail lit during the night um, instead of having the night light for the kids. So it's like a nice... Um, mellow light for them so yeah and that's that's basically it so what we're to do now is show you when the doorbells rang or rung sorry um what will actually happen okay um, i'm going to press the doorbell this is obviously beyond the front door but i'm just doing it for demonstration purposes when you click the doorbell the doorbell goes the light goes on and the hand row handrail pulses and then I get a message to say 
that the handrail, you don't need to have the handrail notification come up. But there's somebody at the door. And also, what I've been using, I've also got CCTV. And what I do, if I know I've got a parcel coming, I just log on to my um, app for my CCTV and I can see who's at the front door. Um, and it works really, really well. So if people have tried to deliver a parcel or said they've tried to deliver, you've actually got proof no one's pressed your doorbell and you've got no CCTV footage to show it. Um, I'm really happy with it, it works uh, every time. Um, if you've got any questions, please let me know. Cheers, bye.